All right, guys. So I just learned something really important. So I learned that my sewing machine, which is a Brother MZ53 lightweight sewing machine, actually does a one-step buttonhole, which is an auto one-step buttonhole. That means that my machine by itself can do a one-step buttonhole without me having to do anything, okay? It just does it by itself. Long as I get it set up, the machine will sew a buttonhole for me, okay? Now, when I was looking at sewing machines at Joanne Fabrics, then they had a helpful chart that gave important details about the sewing machines that they had there. And one of the things I was looking for was a sewing machine that had a one-step buttonhole because I've heard from various uh, people on YouTube who specialize in sewing, particularly with sewing machines, and they've been working with their sewing machines for years. They've said that it's important to get a sewing machine that has a one-step buttonhole, especially if you're a beginner, because if you have to do a buttonhole and it takes four different steps, it's really going to be frustrating, especially if you are a beginner. So I took the tip and I said, okay, I want to get a sewing machine with a one-step buttonhole. That's what I want to do. Okay. So when I wasn't able to get the sewing machine that I wanted at Joanne Fabrics and it ended up being bought, um, which the sewing machine I wanted to get was the Brother Strong and Tough. Um, that machine ended up being bought by somebody. I don't know the person or anything, but hopefully they're enjoying their sewing machine. Anyway, that sewing machine was bought. So rather than me having to wait and, you know, wait for another sewing machine to come in, like another brother strong and tough, right? Then what I ended up doing was going to Walmart and getting another sewing machine. Okay. Okay. And when I went and I looked at my, uh, I looked at the sewing machine uh, that I now have, it was in the box, right? I looked at the details on the outside of the sewing machine box and it said one auto step buttonhole. And for me, I was like, does that mean it has a one step buttonhole? Is that what it means? And I was clueless about whether or not it was a one-step buttonhole or not. But rather than bellyache over it, the cost of my sewing machine was pretty reasonable, so I just ended up buying it. So uh, for those of you who know, it cost me $150 for my sewing machine. And that was a lot cheaper than the Brothers Strong and Tough. So at Joanne Fabrics, it was selling for, um, it regularly retails for $250 at Joanne Fabrics. Um, but it was on sale for $209. And so somebody grabbed that sewing machine quick. So when I saw a sewing machine at Walmart, I mean, I was a little iffy buying a sewing machine at Walmart, but I just ended up doing it. So when I brought my sewing machine home, I still had no idea whether or not my sewing machine was going to be able to sew a one-step buttonhole, which is good for a beginner like myself, or whether it was going to only sew a four-step buttonhole. So the box wasn't much help as to telling me whether or not my machine was going to sew a one-step or a four-step buttonhole. So today I happen to be looking through my operation manual for my sewing machine, and I found out that my sewing machine does, in fact, sew a one-step buttonhole. So it would have been really helpful for them to include that information on the box, especially for a beginner like myself. But luckily, I lucked up and got a machine that actually does that. So um, I'm still getting used to my machine and learning a lot about it. And as I was going through the manual, looking for some other information, then I happened to discover that it sews a one-step buttonhole. If you are a beginner and you're looking into getting a sewing machine, please, please, please get a sewing machine that will sew a one-step buttonhole because it will make things a lot easier for you as a beginner. If you notice on the box, it says like mine did one-step auto buttonhole, I suggest that before you buy that sewing machine, Google the sewing machine and Google and find out if it has a one-step buttonhole or a four-step buttonhole. So you know ahead of time. Okay. It's okay to come back and get a sewing machine. It's okay to do that. Right. Now, if you, if it's down to the last sewing machine in your area and that's, you're at the only Walmart that has a sewing machine, well, you could buy the sewing machine and then bring it back if it doesn't have a one-step buttonhole. 
you know, I know how, you know, with sewing machines, if they're reasonable and cheap, especially this time of year around Christmas, then a lot of people are going to be wanting to, you know, get their hands on one, maybe because they want to get into the hobby of sewing. Okay. So for your sewing machine, if you've already bought a sewing machine, you may end up being like me and be flipping through your owner's manual and find out that your sewing machine actually has a one-step buttonhole. Now, what if you're, what if the outside of the box of the sewing machine that you're interested in doesn't tell you whether it has a one-step or a four-step buttonhole, right? It doesn't even say uh, one auto step or anything. If it doesn't say any of that, then it's a good idea to do your research on that sewing machine. So I'd say take pictures of all the sewing machines at the store that you're at looking at sewing machines and then look all of those sewing machines up and then find out, you know, which one is going to have the one step buttonhole. Okay. Especially if you're a beginner, cause it's going to make life a lot easier for you. Okay. So do that first before you buy it. You don't want to run the risk of buying a sewing machine. Yeah. You think it looks cool and everything, but you end up getting a four step buttonhole. I actually seen somebody, um, show what it looks like to do a four step buttonhole. And if you're a beginner, it's going to be a, it's going to be a lot more complicated for you and you may get frustrated with doing that. And it's a lot. I mean, if you're learning to use a sewing machine, it's going to be totally a lot to do a four step buttonhole. Okay. That's why a lot of the sewing machine, uh, that's why a lot of the seamstresses and sewing experts on YouTube, a lot of them recommend getting a one step buttonhole if you're a beginner, because you know, the, button hold, once the button hold is just one and done and the machine does it for you. Okay. Now, not all machines are going to do an automatic one step button hold. So it's important to do your research before you buy a sewing machine. Okay. So just wanted to share this really helpful tip for you guys. If you get a refurbished sewing machine, okay. Good idea to do your research before you buy a refurbished sewing machine or maybe a sewing machine that you're just kind of tinkering with and putting together. It's a good idea to, to do your research. Now, the older the sewing machine, there may be less and less information out there um, on the sewing machine. There are some vintage um, old sewing machines that a lot of people swear by and they're hard to get your hands on and, you know, if you're down to whether you want to get the sewing machine or not, you know, it's a good buy and it's, you know, you're willing to tinker with it, then by all means get the sewing machine. But if it's an older sewing machine, it may not necessarily have a one step, a one step buttonhole where the machine is going to do it for you as long as you have the buttonhole set up. Okay. So guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope this has been helpful. I know this is not a short uh, on YouTube, but you know, for those of you who are interested in this information and you're learning like me, you're going to be willing to watch a video to gain more clarity and more information. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>